And a first down from the 26 for Kyler Murray. He'll check it short to Connor. Connor with blockers to the 35. Cuts back to the 40 and down just shy of the 45-yard line. Will Hernandez out there. Yeah, he looks like he's finally feeling good after the ACL injury as Connor breaking tackles into the secondary. Love trying to bring him down and no chance for Love. Murray gives it to Connor. Connor picks his way. First down and more. Shrugging off contact and all the way to the 44 yard line. But Kyler Murray didn't understand that they were bringing that pressure in right into it. Wants the screen. Connor, a juggling catch. Oh, nice hesitation. Able to jet up the sidelines. Connor across the 40 and down near the 45. There's Connor. Got a block. Connor down the sideline, all the way for a touchdown. 29 yards for James Connor, and the Cardinals an extra point from tying it up. That you want to show in the offseason of your 13 personnel arsenal. I love it. And it's why there's so much optimism around here right now as Connor breaks free again. And James Connor will tiptoe out of bounds with a 1,000 yard oh, rushing oh, oh. season. If you've got to deal with Vea up there in the inside, Ritter protected, fires far side. It's caught. Drake London. What a pass. It just seems like everyone's got a chance. Some of these divisions that are wide open, especially the NFC South. Ritter. Oh Near my goodness. Side, it's caught. Drake London with a brilliant catch. Now he's got to make one more. Going for two to try to extend this to a three point lead. Robinson in motion. Ritter looking. Fires. It's caught. Drake London. Three point Atlanta lead. And then the 52 yarder. And now all the pressure on the shoulders of their second-year quarterback, Ritter. Fires completes. Right at midfield, that's Drake London with the catch. Boy, this is where legends are made, right here. Ritter drops back. Fires towards the end zone. It is caught, but London is short, and Tampa Bay has won it here in Atlanta. The Ravens were wondering where would the speed and dash come from with Keaton Mitchell's injury? It might come from Justice Hill. Play fake, Jackson. So much time to work with Jackson downfield. Halton, save Flowers. Impressive rookie season, first round pick out of Boston College. Miami up 7-0 on the Ravens. Shotgun for Jackson. Jackson looking end zone, touchdown! Justice Hill slips behind the defense. And the Ravens an extra point away from the equalizer. Fifth round pick of Baltimore in 2018 out of Ferris State Division II, the Bulldogs. Third and 25. Jackson on the move. Jackson with the cut. And hit from behind is going to come up short of the first down. Bradley Chubb. Ninth play of the drive. Jackson is 8 of 9, 111 yards and a touchdown. Step and throw. Deliver it downfield. Beckham brings it in. Inside the five. Will Miami make an adjustment? What will Vic Fangio do defensively? Jackson, step and fire. Oh, full separation for Zay Flowers. Flowers cuts it. Flowers has the angle and the touchdown. 75 yards, Jackson to Flowers to add to the Ravens' lead. Thinking big numbers here, trying to really get out ahead in this game. Deep drop, Jackson, step, deliver. It's snagged by Likely. Isaiah Likely diving for the touchdown. Fake it. Jackson. Touchdown, Isaiah Likely, his second of the day. It's third and goal from the pistol. Jackson floated up, hold in, Ricard. Yeah, it's a big man touchdown. Will it just be a field goal attempt? 
Or can they extend? Allen from the pocket. On the run. Has his target inside the 10. That's Gabe Davis with the catch. On first and goal. From the 9. Quarterback's legs. He's got it. Straight ahead he goes. And he powers across again. I mean, it's like we haven't seen anybody like this since the early years of Big Ben Roethlisberger. Third and seven. Good time for Allen. Got a man wide open. It's Shakir with the catch. All the way out near the 40-yard line. They need six for a first here. Allen got it away, and it's caught by Diggs. Oh, it looked like for sure they would get to Allen, and Diggs takes a seat on the bench. Second and two. You've got to be a legend to throw your last pass, don't you? There's the pass. Wow. That's Gabe Davis hanging out on the sideline inside the 10-yard line. Second and 10. Gosh, is going to take off. We'll redirect inside the 20 and falling on at the 16-yard line. Quarterback's legs again. Four guys on one side, Jim. Four. Bring it back. No one goes in motion. It's zone. Work somebody out over here. Third and six. Pass at the goal line. Caught for a touchdown. Diggs has it. As the defense makes an immediate stop. To open up the third quarter. There's the pass to a wide open Gabe Davis. And he's down to the 46 of the Eagles. Sets up a third and 11. They've been great on third and long today. Here they come blitzing. Stepping up. Going to try to run for it. Dodges one defender. And he's in for another touchdown. He sidestepped Blankenship. And has rushed for his second score today. It's third and four. Down four. Here's the pass up top. Gabe Davis has the touchdown. Big, Big game. game, Gabe does it again. So now you got another third and long. Allen on the run. He's got room. He's got the first. No, this is the opener due to injury. No Reek Woolen. No Kobe Bryant today. Dalton on third and six in the pocket. Dalton on the move, fake and throw. It's complete at the 48 with a flag down. Adam feeling a sliding grab. Dalton looks like Wyatt Earp back there. Sets and throws. Dalton connects with Thielen. First down. Game clock, play clock, but they're going to do it. Dalton on third and five. Hooks a pass underneath. Thielen's got a first down and then some. Thielen makes a move. And he'll come up just short of the goal line. Stepping in for the injured Bryce Young. Dalton to the end zone. Adam Thielen. Touchdown, Carolina. Mooney in motion. That's a great front four for Washington, but the line does its job at open and making the catch inside the 30-yard line, D.J. Moore. So they misfire on the first one, but hit the second one. Third and 14. Four-man rush again. Fields to the end zone. Moore. Touchdown. And told to basically stay home. Rashawn Johnson is now in the backfield. Play action. Pass caught. Moore. Great spin move to the inside. Off he goes again. What a first half for him. And finally, after he breaks the tackle of the rookie Forbes, another long gainer. Fields to the end zone, reaching up. Does he make the catch again? D.J. Moore, touchdown. He is having a career in one night. Second and ten, so you got blasting game as the running back. A fullback really by trade. That pass is caught. Moore is able to go down the sideline and turn it into a long game. They're going to rule him out. He goes uh, toward the end zone, but he's going to be stopped uh, just outside the 30-yard line. Where'd he go? Pass is pulled in by Moore. Gets free. Washington gambles. 
and lose the gamble that time. 56 yards touchdown. Figure out who's going to be that replacement for T. Higgins. That's where he's most dangerous with his big body. Second and two, Burrow to the sideline, and Jamar Chase with the grab and a first down into Arizona territory. Mix it in the slot to the top of your screen. It's second down and 11. Burrow finds Chase open over the middle, and Chase with a first down as the Bengals enter the red zone at the 20-yard line. Burrow. Pressure comes. Floats away. Backs the other way and oh, into the end zone for the touchdown. Jamar Chase, his first touchdown of the season. The smile on his face when he said, I think I'll be good today, made me believe it. Burrow going to the air for Jamar Chase, who puts on the brakes and gets a few extra yards up that far sideline. Off of that calf and drive the foot. The fake to mix it. Burrow to Chase. Fifth catch of the day for Jamar Chase, loping up the sidelines, and it's first down. With the run attached. See? There's Chase. You called it, Mark. The little RPO. Chase with the catch. Wilson with the tackle. Off the play fake. Looking for Chase again, who makes the catch. Down at the 37, but enough for a first down. Marco Wilson with the ankle tackle. On first down, Burrow with time, looking deep, looking for Chase. He's got it, and Jamar Chase on the deep ball for the touchdown. 63 yards, Burrow to Chase. He's still got a lot of that special team in him, too. Oh, no doubt. Burrow back to the air, low throw, but it's scooped up at a first down at the 36-yard line. You know, they're expecting him to hold up in protection when they run down the field on the deep strikes. On third and two, the swing to Chase. On the edge with blockers in front, and Jamar Chase with a first down. On third down, Cardinals rush four. Quick swing to Chase. Chase on the edge. He's got the first down. Tiptoes out near midfield, enough to move the chains. Second and 13 at the 26, Burrow to the air, finds Jamar Chase, and Chase has the first down, and he's tied the Bengals' record. Up top. Off the play fake, Burrow, flush to the right, looking for the back of the end zone, it's Chase again! His third touchdown catch of the day, and he sets a new Cincinnati single-game record with his 14th catch giving the Bengals a 30-20 to 20 lead. <laughs> That's exactly what they needed. First and 10 at the 28 is Jamar Chase with blockers in front, and Chase stretching that record. But just having so much fun being in the locker room again and being the leader of a team that could go to the playoffs. Fake the handoff, Flacco, deep shot on first down, looking for the big play, and it's caught by Cooper! Down at the 5! 7-0 on the Houston Texans. Browns are 9-5. Texans 8-6. Browns currently the five seed in the AFC. Flacco. Nicely handled by Cooper. First down. Fake it. Bootleg. Flacco sets. Throws. Looking for separation. It's caught. Amari Cooper down the sideline for the touchdown. Flag is down. Joe Flacco with the bomb to Cooper. So they're thinking touchdowns yes. for Flacco. 20 seconds left. Flacco dials it up. Catch is made. Cooper, the clock is running. He couldn't get out of bounds. But the Buffalo win changed all that. Third down and one. Flacco, play fake, and put it on the money to Amari Cooper. First down, Browns. What are we going to do, Chris? We'll make it work. And that's what they've been trying to do on defense, too. Tenth play of the drive. Flacco stays alive and hits Cooper. Cooper gets toppled over. And he's ruled down. Crowd the line. They handle the rush initially. Flacco does get rid of it. Oh, sideline grab of Maury Cooper. This is nearly a ten-minute drive. Flacco on time. Touchdown, Amari Cooper. What a day for Flacco and Cooper. It's been home to the Texans since 2002. Minute 35 to play here in the third. Once again, Flacco to Cooper. 
They can't stop. Sensational job by Barry and his staff. Flacco, fourth down throw is perfect to Cooper. And a flag down at the end of the play as Cooper was ridden out of bounds. Play clock winding down. Two-point try, Flacco. Why not? It's Cooper. <laughs> and it's 36 to 7. Flacco delivers. It's caught by Cooper. And there's the record for Amari Cooper. Early on has no answers for this Rams front. Second and long. Four-man rush. Prescott gets rid of it. Over the middle. CD Lamb. Nice catch and move. Lamb turns on the speed. To the outside and a first down for Lamb. Good move after the catch. And CD's got 18. First down. Quick throw. Lamb looking for a block. Patiently works his way out to the 45 and gets... Another fake. Prescott looking deep. It's not there. Just going to dump it off underneath the CeeDee Lamb for a couple. Bad call at the end of the Pittsburgh game, so I'm sure they're still hot on that. Meanwhile, Cowboys up 7-3. Oh, beauty from Prescott in stride to CeeDee Lamb out across the 40. And they're going to put him up at the 42. Perfect play and a first down for Dallas. CeeDee Lamb, jet sweep, has a block. Lamb inside the 40 and a first down. Got a nice block from Jalen Tolbert. And we have our first game break of the day with Carissa Thompson. Here's Prescott. Over the middle, fires, caught C.D. Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Here we go. Rams come with two blitzers. Prescott against it. Oh, Lamb, great catch. In stride. First down and more. Down to the 45. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it will be. And considering, here's Prescott back to throw. Quick hitter over the middle. Lamb in traffic. Makes the catch. Still on his feet. Down inside the 25. Third and eight. Four-man rush. Prescott escapes. Rolling, looking, throwing. Caught! Touchdown! Guess who? Yeah, here we go. Here is Prescott. Pressure coming from full of safety. Lamb again. The tackled immediately. Hello, Witherspoon on the play. Pollard lines up as a wide receiver, top of your screen. Prescott on third and long, coming near side. Lamb makes the catch. Reaching, he's not going to get it. Fuller tackles him short, but now you have a decision to make. Fourth and one and a half. You're going to go. Three touchdowns, 22 of 28, 250 yards. CeeDee Lamb, a career high in receptions. That'll give you an idea. Pre Prescott looking for more, and Lamb, oh, a poster over Kendrick. Speak of the devil, here he is on third down. Little trickery, misdirection. Wilson has him fooled. It's Jack Del Rio, year four. Came in with Ron Rivera. And this has been one of the top statistical defenses in the league. Wilson's going to take a shot. Has his man. It's caught. Wide open. It's Mims. Touchdown. Sixty yards from Wilson. Exquisite pass. This is your second game as a pro. Do you want to come up and tackle? So expect him to continue to attack that side. Where does Wilson go here? Third and four. Sling it at far side. Perfect pass. It's caught. Marvin Mims, who had the 60-yard touchdown, has 54 more. Impressive numbers coming out of school, and he's shown the same thing here so far, the way he reads the quarterback. Wilson puts his back into it. First down, Denver. And there's a chance to sub. Second and ten. Wilson's going to run for it. Wilson inside the third. Fourth and three, maybe one last gasp here for Wilson in Denver. He's going to tuck it away. First down and more. Wilson out across the 30. Oh, what a tackle. Has to get out of. Broncos hoping for this play, maybe one more. Wilson far side, gets it to Sutton. Wilson looking for a miracle. Going to gather, unleashes towards the end zone. It uh -oh, is deflected. Second and goal. 
big hole, left side, in for the touchdown. David Montgomery. Trying to keep that same Packer defense out there. Second down and goal. Keep it on the ground. Through the middle. There he goes again. Montgomery. Two minutes to halftime. First down here from the 35-yard line. Through the middle. Another big run. Hands it off. And into the end zone. Goes Montgomery. Second of his career right there. Montgomery padding his numbers. Boy, hard running. Montgomery over 100 to the 31. Way to Harrison Smith. Nose it down to the edge. Here he comes. Protected as well. Firing in the middle of the field. Touchdown in the middle. Jaden Reed. He now leads the team. With nine on the year. And the Packers have jumped out to a 9 nothing lead. As Minnesota's showing that pressure as usual. And Love retreating. Just getting rid of it. And caught by Melton. Well, Melton came across the field. He's inside the 35. And out of bounds at the 33. Jaden Reed getting some speed in motion. Going that way is Love. Reed got it. Oh, thing of beauty there. 18, Malik Heath, bottom of your screen. Good strong receiver down here. Love's going to run it and keep it. Get towards the goal and lose the football. He's ruled down by contact, short of the goal line. Dobbs in motion. Love flips it to the end zone. Touchdown. Bo Melton's got that one. It is a Packer night in Minneapolis. A lot of penalties last week, 11 of them for Tampa Bay, costing him 74 yards. The throw on time. The touchdown, Nico Collins. Texans take the lead. It's good research by you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Not Elvis. He oh, sorry. Likes horses. Oh, yeah, horses. My bad. Stroud makes the connection with Brown. Straddling the sideline. Does he have the angle? He does. Touchdown. Seventy-five yards. But just because you punt doesn't mean that you can step in and kick. That's why we don't have punters and kickers doing both for teams. Driving it downfield, it's Stroud to Collins. And then Devin White got some of the business at the end of the play. Stroud to the end zone. Touchdown, Tank Dell. Perfectly thrown by C.J. Stroud right in the bucket. Instead, it's Stroud. Throws. End zone. Touchdown. It's Dalton Schultz. And Stroud with another BB. You know and your opponent knows you can't kick it. Stroud. Gets there for two. C.J. Stroud likes to squabble. First down at the 36. Stroud sets. Floats it. Caught by Brown. Driven to the sideline at the five. Six defensive backs in there for the Buccaneers. Stroud looking. Deep ball. Hold in. Take down. Ten seconds to go. And now... Can they win it? Shroud to the end zone. Touchdown. Tank Dell. C.J. Stroud leads a magical drive. Let's send it back out to Spiro, Adam, and Amanda. Mm. Uh-oh. Here's a breakaway. Moss off to the races. Moss to the house. 
seen him give his receiver ample opportunities to run with the football after the catch. Handoff here to Moss. Moss finds a crease right through the middle of that defense. The kind of big staple in this offense last couple of years. Minshew gives. Moss still on his feet. He's in. And Indianapolis punches back. Moss here with Taylor to the sideline. Moss coming for more. On third and five. Got to be careful here. Moss breaking a tackle. Big play for Moss. They Crazy. have chewed up nearly six minutes. Unreal. Minshew from the gun on second down. Moss, the little hesitation, he breaks free. Oh, and with the roughing the passer penalty, that puts the ball on the one yard line, so Jacksonville's going to go for two. Break the huddle quickly. Eats in with the flip. And he walks right in. Second and four from the 42. Lawrence over to Etienne. Makes a nice move. Etienne all the way down. He doesn't know he's defenseless when the ball could be in his hands and he used his shoulder nevertheless. Etienne around the end. Etienne in Bill's territory. Etienne gaining the edge and he walks it in. Here's Etienne up the middle. Etienne is free. Etienne! Touchdown! Start the second quarter, and the Chiefs face a third and three. Stepping up. And that's Kelsey. Bobbled it and held on to it. And make that pocket feel small with no angles to get out of. Here on second and seven. Steps back. He's got Kelsey again. How about this? That's now 22 straight targets of Kelsey. I'll never forget what we saw him do in Minnesota. Rolled an ankle, looked like a high ankle sprain, came back and was a huge factor in the second half. And there's another catch by Kelsey. He's got one man to beat. Kelsey tackled down at the five-yard line. Morrow prevents the touchdown. Most ever through 100 games. You want something for your quarterback. You want wins, yards, and touchdowns, Jim? Do you like that? <laughs> yeah, that would work, right? That's a pretty good recipe. And it's pretty good to have a tight end like this to throw to. Kelsey with his sixth grab. Too many big plays like that this year against a defense like this. Gonna fake the handoff to Edwards Alaire. Look who's there. Who else? Kelsey. First and ten with two minutes to go in the half. Just too easy. Yeah, and Kelsey, by the way, already has career high in receiving yardage for the first half. First and goal. Take the handoff, pass in the middle. Kelsey's reaching for the goal line, and he's shoved across. Oh, my gosh. Still waiting for the signal. I think it's a touchdown. Now they're up with arms. Touchdown, Kansas City. They just thrown the ball in the flat, the flat, and all of a sudden things are too easy. Third and two, and they've got another first down. Talk about easy. No one near Kelsey. You can be more aggressive, guys. You have help back there because they're deep. Here's second and ten. All kinds of time for Mahomes. Look at that pass. <laughs> kind of a no-look <laughs> to Kelsey. We do have a marker on the near side, 27. Second and 12. Yep. He's going to throw it to Kelsey. Surrounded at the 15. On second and 18, Herbert to the air, finds Allen, and he's sandwiched. He's up on the line of scrimmage, trying to play who's who in the zoo. Quickly to Allen, blockers in front, and Allen upended at the 30-yard line. Good tackle by Cameron Bynum, who had a career-high 15 last week. On first down, Herbert to the air. There's Keenan Allen with a catch at the 25-yard line, and he fights his way close to the first down at the 29. Be ready for all the stunts up front. Vikings rush five. Herbert to the sideline for Allen. Makes the catch. Keenan Allen with a first down. Working against Byron Murphy. And you see everybody on the line of scrimmage, namely those two right in the middle, forcing communication between the center quarterback and running back.
Herbert with a four-man rush in his face, throws to the right side, catch by Allen, beautifully dropped in by Herbert between two defenders, Mark, and it's first and goal at the Vikings three. Wow. It's going to look like crisscross applesauce. Third and seven. Pressure from Hunter. Herbert steps away, finds Keenan Allen. Goes airborne for the first down, the ball popping out, but Allen has it, and it's a first down for Los Angeles. Two sacks and an intentional grounding. Last week they struggled as well. There's Keenan Allen struggling forward to the 32-yard line. Up on the Verizon halftime. Herbert to the sideline. There's Allen ushered out of bounds with a first down. they got too many yards. Be ready for a quick throw out to the edge. Vikings bring it all on the quick slant to Allen, and Allen's got a first down, or nine yards, actually. They'll spot him a yard short at the 40-yard line. <laughs> Trying to bulk that ball out at the end. Herbert setting up again for the sideline. Wide open is Keenan Allen. Allen dancing into Vikings territory down to the 35. Past Lance Allworth for second all-time in Charger history. Allen trying to get around the edge and cannot find any room over there. Byron Murphy with a good ankle tackle. Tell us off the edge. Here it comes. And tell us providing the heat. Herbert trying to get away. He does. Steps around that pressure and finds Keenan Allen. Allen out of bounds across midfield at the Vikings 49. And he can throw on the move. The 49. Double Allen. pass. Double pass. He's going to throw down the sideline. Williams wide open. Mike Williams with the catch and he'll walk in for the touchdown. <laughs> tight ends as well his team down four Herbert back to the air on first down on a slant it's Keenan Allen and Allen down near the 39 yard line first and 10 at the 25 Herbert to the air there's Keenan Allen flag is down as Allen's out of bounds across the 45 near the 46 yard line a pickup of 21 third and 17 Herbert Oh boy. Back over the middle. <laughs> Dangerous throw, but he finds Allen and he gets the first down. You kidding me? That have to be ironed out if you're going to execute down deep in the red zone. 10 at the 2. From the end zone, Herbert finds Keenan Allen, his 17th catch of the day. And that was the big play for these guys, other than the tipped interception. Third and 11. Pressure up the middle. Allen with another catch. Allen close to the first down, Ooh. but he didn't get it. Kyron Williams straight ahead with plenty of room. No problem inside the 15 and a first down for the Rams. Became a dad for the first time in October. They set up the screen to Williams, who's got blockers in front. Slips through. Kyron Williams all the way down near the 30 of the Cardinals. Well designed, well executed by Sean McVay and the Rams. Cup with an adjustment to the bottom of your screen. The other way, it is a screen to Kyron Williams. Kyron Williams gets a block. He's in the end zone, and that's a wrap touchdown. And a leap with Ram fans who made the trip to Glendale, Arizona. Stafford, by the way, a season high, three touchdown passes in this first half. Williams with a big hole. Kyron Williams still going. Across midfield and out of bounds. After a 47-yard punt from the Ram 22, Kyron Williams adding to his rush total. And there he goes! Williams! All the way down to the 22-yard line of Arizona, and Jalen Thompson saved a touchdown. And that tight finish at the end to beat Ooh. Seattle. Stafford wants to throw. Floats it. Touchdown, Rams! Kyron Williams! He's got another one. Two today. Nine for the year in this his seventh game. G gets it rolling from the 12 yard line. That pass sideline is caught by Devontae Adams. We spend time with Carrie Underwood, who gets it started every Sunday night. Raiders trying to get started. There's second drive. Devontae Adams had the game's first first down, retreated. We'll see where they mark him. Drive the pattern, Garoppolo floats it, sideline, Adams targeted often here 
in the first six minutes of this one, and why not? First team all pro the last three years. Garoppolo turns, play action. And looking downfield for Devontae Adams. He's got it. Touchdown Raiders. On the ground. Garoppolo out. Devontae Adams busy in this first quarter. That's his fifth reception. Third and a long one to start the quarter. Steelers bring the heat. Devontae Adams is red hot tonight. To the 29-yard line. A first down. They keep feeding Adams. Working on a one-year deal. It's third down. Garoppolo escapes on the run. He fires Adams again to the 43-yard line. Third and one. Raiders need it. They're going to throw for it. Adams. Quick slant. Big play. Devontae Adams into the secondary to the 47-yard line. Raiders needed that. Chris told you about Joey Porter Jr. He's in the lineup at corner. Garoppolo steps up. Throws. What a catch. What a catch by Devontae Adams working on the rookie Porter for the first down. Home team Raiders got to go. Down 16 with 11 and a half to go. Garoppolo look at middle of the field, and it's one more time. Devontae Adams to the 46-yard line. Big numbers on the night for Adams, his 10th catch. Open all the time. I don't know why they call it 7-Eleven. Adams. On the edge, pushed out of bounds. Because 7-Elevens were open 24 hours, the stores. Garoppolo, Adams, touchdown, Las Vegas. Number two on the night for Devontae Adams. You don't want to leave a whole lot of time on the clock, assuming you can score here. It's an interesting clock management. Garoppolo, sideline shot, Devontae Adams again. Number 13 on the night. It's easy for us after we've had some time to analyze it. Coaches have to make that decision quickly. A chain is in, second and five, the pitch out. Oh, good block by Armstead. There he goes. Oh, he's a pull. Who they can use in a variety of ways, as you have seen. Second and six. Berrios on the move. Pitch out a chain. Blocked by Berrios. Blocked by Armstead. Look at him dive. Look at him score. With a second down and goal. Oh, look at that. Shovel pass. A chain. Breaks a tackle and dives for six. Hasn't missed an NFL game until today. Fake the Mostert. End around on first and ten. And this is A-Chain breaking tackles. Oh, is he slippery? Stiff arms his way into Sertan at the five. Gave him a little bit of a boost, but this group has been playing well even without him the first couple of weeks. Two and 203 yards. Here's a little pass on second three. A-Chain makes a miss. On the move, getting a block from Mostert, and finally corralled. Grabbed on the play by Benito. On the interception, gives Miami this great position, second and goal. Shovel pass. A-Chain, touchdown. Ten-yard touchdown pass. Dolphins are in that company. That's regular season. Second down and two. A-chain, big hole. Turns it on, accelerating. You can kiss him goodbye. 69 points on a 67-yard touchdown run by A-chain. His second rushing touchdown. And his fourth today. <laughs> Third and 13. Blitz picked up. Underneath there is Jefferson. Got a long way to go though. And Alex Anzalone, he's not going to let him. And Minnesota has two of those four. Out of the timeout. Mullins over the middle. There's Jefferson. Made a man miss. Made another miss. And dove inside the 10. It's a first down for Justin Jefferson. And a gain of 22. Who's in charge of letting him know quarterback is ready. Bringing it. Jefferson. Third down and goal. He gets five. And they'll settle for the field goal attempt. As Brian Branch. Angles him out of bounds. 
what a lot of people feel is the best wide receiver in the NFL and hold him to this start. They got him here, but now we're close to the first down. He's tackled by Reeves Mabin. Minnesota still with an outside shot at getting into the playoffs. Mullins has Jefferson wide open and has close to 30 yards on the first play of this drive. Blitz coming. Mullins beats it with Jefferson again to the 35 in Detroit territory. 21 more. They lead by seven here. Need to win this game and have a couple things go their way in the later window to get that two seed as Justin Jefferson gets his first catch of the half. Jefferson. It is caught. But short of the first down. It's a pass. It's a deep ball. It's Jefferson for the touchdown. Justin Jefferson has the Vikings within a score. Beating Kendall Vildor for a 38-yard score. Rams are one of those sneaky teams, too, right? I mean, kind of that competitive rebuild this year, and then all of a sudden at the end, they're, they're viable. Mullins has Jefferson with another big gain in the Lions' territory. And that's what you have to do to be involved in that pass game. More of that passing game. Jefferson plucks it first down inside the 30. Zappi's first pass, a floater. It's caught. And that's Elliott with a nice move. And Zeke picking up the first Patriots in foreign territory. They didn't even get inside the Charger 30 last week. Floats a pass here to Zeke. Dives. Touchdown. I mean, go figure. They play 60 minutes at home last week. Don't score. Don't come close to scoring. And just like that, off the bat, 75 yards and eight plays to take the lead. Have to get to the 35. Throw underneath. Elliott's got a blocker. And then it closes quickly on him at the 27-yard line. Make the Fitzpatrick is right there. Third and 11. Shoulder shake, flips it out here to Elliott. Nice move. Zeke looking for that first down, but it'll come up short about three yards in front of that Steeler bench. Thursday night, win not a factor. Zappi throws, it's caught. Elliott breaks a tackle in the backfield. And Zeke having a nice night with a 16 yard gain out to the 36 yard line again. Right after an awful first quarter and a half. Here's Elliott. And his big night continues as he skirts the sideline, comes close to a first down. New England tonight. Elliott. Well, that should take us just about to the finish line if they but to get it back after the three and a three and out for Jacksonville. Now Carr throws over the middle, open, making the grab there. For a lot of room to roam. A lot of room to roam for Camara. Picks up the first down. Fourth and three. Gets it away. First down. Just before he gets hit, Kamara makes the catch and picks up the first down. One for two on fourth down. Going for it. And they get it, and they get a lot more in Kamara from the 35-yard line. Jamal Williams, the running back. There's Hill in the stack. You've got Kamara now coming to the inside in the slot. They go to Kamara. Tie game. Camara inside the this is the 99th year of Giants football. They start from the 25. Jones is going to go deep. Got a man out there. And it is caught by the rookie, Jalen Hyatt. His first NFL catch is a huge one. Let's see if they can uh, execute the rest go. of the second half. Second and seven here, KP. Jones keeps it. Got the space. And a touchdown. An inspired opening drive of the second half for the Giants and Daniel Jones showing a little emotion. Deep drop, Jones got a man wide open in Slayton and he gets away. Down inside the Arizona 35 yard line. Four man twist, Jones steps away from it. 
And now has to run. He's going to try to beat Barnes in the open field. Excellent run by Daniel Jones. Back-to-back 75-yard touchdown drives for the Giants after a dreadful first half. Jones under pressure, gets away, throws on the run to Slayton for a first down. Jones off another fake. He's got an over route for Darren Waller. And he takes it down to the Arizona 40-yard line. Jones is going to pass. Looking for Barkley. Diving to the pylon. In for the touchdown. What an effort by Saquon Barkley to get the score. Every scoring play is reviewed. They'll take a look, but he banged the pylon for six. Go. Fake to Barkley to start it. Jones was looking deep. Nothing there, so he'll run it. And an athletic play to stay in bounds and pick up a first down. Ready. They are looking to take a shot, and they will take a shot. Going up top for Hyatt, and the rookie does it again. Down to the 18 of Arizona. Jones throws, end zone shot. It's caught by Hodgins for the touchdown. They're an extra point away from coming all the way back. Excellent to watch. 28 apiece, two minutes to play. On first down, Jones stepping up, taking a shot for Slayton, and he's got it inside the Arizona 40. It's the bad drop. Mm. Jermaine Johnson with that heavy pressure. Jets go to the check. This is Brees Hall into some open real estate. Hall taking on tacklers. He's going to get inside the 10. And boy, how about this start for the Jets? The offensive line has had a big, big reason why this running game has stalled. Here is Hall, shot out of a cannon, and he will score. Uh, you'd be more than happy to wind this down as much as possible and at least get your three points going into halftime. Simeon goes through his reads on first down. Here is Hall. They set him up for the screen. Hall extends and it appears as though they're going to mark him just shy of the end zone uh, that's the natural result Jets go six offensive linemen on first and goal Hall looking for a seam breaks a tackle bounces to the outside he extends but it appeared as though now they're going to say touchdown no, he might have got it boy they rule touchdown was he in bounds some controversial finishes around the league this season. So first and 15 after the penalty. They mark it back at the 17. Simeon over the middle as Wilson's busy half continues. As he is forced out of bounds. Well played by Kalik Hudson. Here's Hall out of the backfield. Jacoby Brissett. Hoping to turn the field now, tilting in Washington's favor. Brees Hall on the check on a third and 16. Will only be able to get to the 40-yard line. We haven't had much to talk about since halftime. They begin this drive at their 22-yard line. Fake handoff, and then Hall as a pass catcher. Hall is going to have a first down and more to win this football game now. So a one-point game as Simeon takes over the reins of the offense, completes over the middle. To not just avoid one, but two tackles and pick that first down up. Jets are still in decent shape with the timeout. Over the middle, Simeon completes. It's Hall again. Hall breaking free. Inside the Commanders, 40. First down, Jets. It was so good last season, and it's gotten off to a rocky start, but we'll get into maybe the reasons why. Here is A.J. Brown. He's got a first down on his first catch. First third down for the Eagles. They've been one of the top third down teams in the league so far. Pressure coming out of the secondary. Underneath it's Brown. A first down into Commander's territory. Second down and 10 after the first hurts incompletion. It's a fake to Swift and a throw for Brown. And A.J. Brown's got a first down. Busy again after the big game last week. On third down and eight, Hurts on time, finds Brown, tackled immediately by Fuller, and he's a yard short. Yeah, they do have Montez Sweat, and they've got Chase Young off the edges, but those two big guys in the middle are what I'm concerned about. Second down and ten, Hurts going sideline, Brown in a perfect drop in the bucket for a first down. Could not throw that any better, 28 yards. 
Gainwell stays in. He hasn't carried it today. It's been all past when he's been in the backfield. He's got Brown. A.J. Brown cuts it back. Looking for the end zone. Inside the 15. Inside the 10. He's in. And the Eagles have their first lead. Not anyone else. Jalen Hurts. A.J. Brown. Inside the 35, now comfortably inside Jake Elliott's range. On second and four, Hurts looking to throw. Going in zone, watch Brown, it's there! Touchdown, Philadelphia! Not anyone else? They'll look to throw it. A.J. Brown, Forbes right on top of him. And the veteran Brown and the rookie Forbes been going head-to-head -head all day. And only more than 20 once in their last eight. They have struggled mightily through the year, hoping this is the game to turn around. And Rudolph with his first completion. It's Pickens in stride. There he goes. The explosion. Pickens, goodbye. Touchdown, 86 yards. at LSU in their national championship season. Rudolph to throw, deep drop. Rudolph letting it fly down the sideline. Pickens got it. He was out, was he inbounds or not? They're saying cap. Third and one. Rudolph looking sideline for Pickens again. He's got it, dropped it in the bucket. Pickens punches back, touchdown. Smith fires over the middle. Great grab by Metcalf out in front, and he will go all the way for a touchdown. 73 yards. Play action. Slides left. Down the left side left. Metcalf, what a catch. DK Metcalf over Bland. So he picks on Bland again. Lockett's in the slot, Metcalf the other way, to Metcalf, he hauls it in. And another, is there a flag down at the three-yard line? There is. Here's Blakeman. Offside, defense number 90. Kelly's declined. He's only plays a touchdown. <laughs> this Lawrence. Team that came into the game having scored only one touchdown. In the last two games, meanwhile, the catch is made along the sideline by D.K. Metcalf. Lockett going back and forth. Pass is caught outside the 10-yard line. And Metcalf's big night continues. Forward progress will net him a first down. It'll be first and goal and a lot of action after the play was whistled dead. Charbonnet, 16 carries, 54 yards. Fake it to him. Backpedaling to the end zone. Metcalf touchdown. He finds a Seahawks fan, hands him the football, and what a night for Geno Smith and company. Again, McCaffrey with the try and the touchdown. Would you? <laughs> Second down and five, McCaffrey again. The answer is uh -oh. no, he would not. And McCaffrey uh -oh. stepping through a couple of tackles. and Motion by McCaffrey, oh. the swing to McCaffrey. Oh, use check blocking out front. Oh, a hurdle for McCaffrey. Get Leaping his way for the touchdown. Second a goal. Play action. Purdy, pressure coming late. Throws to McCaffrey. McCaffrey twisted to the goal line and in for the touchdown. Two rushing touchdowns, one receiving touchdown for Christian McCaffrey, and it's 20 to 3, 49ers. First down and goal. McCaffrey again, and for the fourth time today, Christian McCaffrey scores a touchdown. Toss to McCaffrey, blocking in front, little stiff arm, tiptoes up the sideline, and McCaffrey. 
Second possession for the Buccaneers. Mayfield to throw. Evans didn't have a touch on the first uh, drive. Steps in front of J.C. Horn. Hurry, hurry. Turbos, hot, hot. A third down. Mayfield to throw. Mayfield looking to the near side for Evans. He's got it. And Evans is knocked out of bounds inside the 10. Want to get the first down, but don't want to put this ball in jeopardy at all. What do you got? Mayfield lets it go. He's got Evans, and Evans has got a first down. Remember when you were a kid and you played red light, green light? Yeah. The yellow light is on now. Caution the way he threw the ball up in the air last time. Well, this time he connects with Evans. And Mayfield looking to throw on first down. Has Evans into the open field. And Evans has one man to beat. Inside the 10, dives toward the pylon. He's out of bounds. It's 1-10 and ten and just fired their head coach. Panthers showing blitz. Mayfield gets rid of it, has Evans, and Evans breaks a tackle. He's over 1,000 yards again. He gets 11 on that. 10 straight years, over 1,000 yards. A couple of division championships under Mike Vrabel. They've reached the AFC championship game. Levis off the fake, looking for Hopkins. He's got it. Touchdown, Tennessee! Now he picked up three yards, so everything is kind of good. Second down, back to Will Levis. Caught by Hopkins on the run, and he spins into the end zone. Second connection, Levis to D-Hop. Levis, Hopkins caught underneath, and the cross. Will continues to show some good poise, some good command at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Levis, that pump. Hopkins behind the defender, and he's got it on the run. Third touchdown of the day. Levis to Hopkins for Tennessee. In that loss to the Giants, although he did have a touchdown run. Howell, floating one for the end zone, and catch made! It's a Washington touchdown, Terry McLaurin! Quick pass, in a crowd, caught inside the 30, and inside the 25 is Logan Thomas. Howell throwing, touchdown Washington to Hyde Dotson! Eric Bieniemy doing a much better job of getting the quarterback that ball out of the hand of the quarterback. Howell to throw and open to the middle of the field and up to the 30-yard line. Jamison Crowder. Pressure on Howell. He has to unload. That does. Dotson with a catch. Jahan Dotson. And a first down for Washington. of the end zone. Howell open at the 19. Jahan Dotson. First down for Washington. He's responded today going up against the division leading Eagles. Firing and caught at the 21 yard line. Howell for the end zone. Hanging on is Logan Thomas for a Washington touchdown. Involved in the college game, and that's what he's talked about working on so diligently. Got a big arm here, it floats one, and yes, a juggling catch by Antonio Gibson. That is a tough throw to hope. Pass he is caught by McLaurin inside the 45. See the head coach right there talked about their development. You have got to be encouraged with what they were able to do against the stout Philly. What a catch by Crowder. Are you me? And a fourth touchdown throw from Sam Howell, as you were just talking about, the young quarterback.